Hello, you are watching Pikai Pharmacy and today I will explain you how I prepared metadinitrobenzene in our lab. So at first you have to take a 250 ml of round bottom flask containing few pieces of porcelain. And then we got the concentrated sulfuric acid. So from it take 10.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and transfer it to a measuring cylinder. Now keep the measuring cylinder aside and go for concentrated nitric acid. And from it take 7.5 ml of nitric acid and transfer it to a measuring cylinder and also keep it aside. Now all you have to do is to transfer all of the 10.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid inside the round bottom flask. Then add the 7.5 ml of nitric acid slowly in intervals inside the round bottom flask to prevent excessive heat generation. So to prepare metadinitrobenzene which is our product we need the substrate that is nitrobenzene and we prepared this nitrobenzene in our previous experiment and we're gonna use that for making the metadinitrobenzene. So from that nitrobenzene take 5 ml of it and transfer it to a 10 ml measuring cylinder. So we had already prepared the mixture of sulfuric acid and nitric acid and that is our nitrating agent. So all we have to do is to add the 5 ml of nitrobenzene to this mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid slowly in portions with shaking. So now we have to use a new equipment called reflux condenser. So now this reflux condenser is attached to the flask to the neck of the flask using a grease to make it firm and compact and then it is kept heating for 2 hours. So in between I want to tell you that we added porcelain inside this round bottom flask to prevent bumping of the solution when we place it under the reflux condenser. And after almost one and a half hour you will see some changes in the color of our solution that is turning into a reddish yellow solution. And then we have to cool the mixture. So first of all we have to keep it in a ice water and from there we have to keep it in the room temperature for a little bit of time. So after cooling the mixture we have to pour it into 60 ml ice cold water with stirring. So after that you will see a light yellow color solution is obtained after pouring the mixture in cold water. So what happened? Precipitation of metadinitrobenzene occurred when we poured the mixture in cold water. Now we need to stir the solution and then go for filtration. So here is our filter paper and our funnel and we have to filter our metadinitrobenzene solution. So now pour the crude solution of metadinitrobenzene over the filter paper and you will see some precipitate over the filter paper that is our metadinitrobenzene. So we don't need the filtrate inside the conical flask, what we need is the precipitate above the filter paper that is the metadinitrobenzene. Keep doing the filtration for at least 15 minutes so that we obtain dry solid precipitate of metadinitrobenzene over the filtered paper. So now you can see the precipitate that we obtained over the filter paper is almost pure metadinitrobenzene. Now you have to pull out the filter paper from the funnel without losing any metadinitrobenzene precipitate. Now keep it for few days for drying and after that it will appear like this. Now what we have to do is to measure the total weight of the filter paper along with the precipitate and then scrub off the precipitate of metadinitrobenzene and weigh only the filter paper. Then subtract the weight of the filter paper and you will obtain the weight of the metadinitrobenzene. So this is how you can obtain metadinitrobenzene. So I hope you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Stay healthy. Bye.